about this this permanent position first, okay? Okay. So these this price increase just happened last week. So the permanent position used to pay sixty two cents a mile, and we upped that to sixty five cents a mile now. Okay. So you would be averaging around twenty nine hundred miles a week. All you have to do is stay. What's up, guys? Lockout Men back again with another podcast for you today. And welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And in today's episode of the Lockout Men podcast, we're doing the MTC. Yes, sir. And and today's MTC, we're going to be talking to, who are we going to be talking to? Hindegard Transport. Yes, sir. They are located out of, let's find out where they're located out of, shall we? They're located out of Roseville, Minnesota. Yes, sir. So let's just jump right into talking about uh, Hindegard, and we will head right over to the, to the bit board. And we're going to talk about Hindegard. Hindegard Transport, again, they're, they look like they're, they're a FedEx uh, power-only type company. Uh, I have talked to the young lady, and she already told me that this is a team driving position, okay? And you have to have your doubles and triples because you will be pulling uh, doubles and triple trailers. Uh Let's see. They got a very, very clean website. I like it. No, you know, no jambalaya, no nothing pretty, pretty much too, you know, uh, clean and concise. But here's their driving careers. They are currently hiring permanent team and solo drivers for dedicated and non-dedicated FedEx run. Runs are dispatched from St. Paul, Minnesota, FedEx hubs. There are drop and hook only. And you are home weekly. Hmm. Now, reading this from the website and the information that I got from her on the that I got from her on the on the position, I don't know. I don't know. Dedicated run freights move between the same FedEx ground hubs each week. They are dispatched the same locations with the same routing. These runs dispatch and return home on a kits on a consistent schedule, typically Tuesday through Saturday. Non-dedicated runs move freight between FedEx ground hubs within the lower 48 states uh, each week. Most non-dedicated freight is moved between hubs in the western, midwestern, southern, and southern states. They are to- they are typically dispatched on Tuesday mornings and return home Saturday. Compensation. Now we have t- we have talked about compensation. I'll let her go into that. Uh all pay rates below are for trucks that are domiciled to the St. Paul hub. Pay rates for each driver individually, no split pay. You know, that's teams. That's awesome right there. So if, you know, a lot of companies say, well, you get 65 cent a mile, but that's split between you and the other driver. And that sucks. That sucks. She says that uh, we can average about $1,800 to $1,900 before taxes. Uh, 70 cent per mile lead driver, 55 cent per mile for a student driver. So they do get training there. Temporary drivers get 80 cent a mile. Solo weekly guarantee is 50 cent per mile. Safety bonus, 250. And you get a $5,000 driver referral bonus with no limits. They got a... They got 2019, uh, 2019 and 2020 uh, Freightliner Cascadias with the with the luxury package, the the table, the TV mount, the microwave, all that good stuff in there. Uh, team average about twenty nine hundred miles. It's all dropping hook. They pay eighty percent of the insurance. 
Now, let's see. They say why drivers choose them because of flexible scheduling, conference, uh, conversation, great conversation packages, great benefit package, health, dental, 401k, which starts after a year, equipment, new trucks, an excellent standard of maintenance, no loading or unloading, runs are dropping hook only. So if you're a driver that's looking for that, then this might be the company for you. Return home, domicile every week, consistent paychecks, and a job security. Another big thing that I like about this that I that that I had a head scratcher for a second there. She said that uh, that we can't take the trucks home. So, uh, but we would get flown home at the end of at the end of the run. So we come back up to Minnesota. We hop on a plane, get back home, stay home for four days all right you know do the damn thing with the wife the girlfriend uh do some work around the house or hang out or do what you got to do and then you come back via flight back up to minnesota and you do it all over again for how many for how many weeks that you're out all right with that said what do you guys think let's find out more about hindegard transportation in the car Hello, how you doing? I'm doing fine. All right, all right. Um, I want to make sure I'm talking to the right person, so I, I made sure I, I call. I called several phone numbers here, and uh, this is this is Hendon. Am I pronouncing it right? Hendon Guard. Hendegard. Hendegard. See that? Say, yes. Say it. Hendegard. Transport. Say say it the way it sounds. Sounds the yes. way it says. Hendy. Hendegard. Hendegard. <laughs> How you doing today, ma'am? You got it. Yes. All right. My name's uh Sean. I'm a five year truck driver. And uh I was just calling. Uh -huh. I, I was just calling. Now let me let me tell you why I'm calling. Because I'm I'm going through my Instagram. I'm I'm going through my Instagram and everything. And I came across the, I, I came across the company, and yeah, what what was flashing across the screen is seventy five cents per mile. So before I get in before I get into all you know before I get into my questions because I I do want to know a little bit more yeah. about about Hindegard, uh Transport. Um, mm hmm. What's that seventy five cent entails? What it entails? Yes, ma'am. It is there. Okay. Is first, th first of all, well, let me ask you this: by chance, did you happen to fill out an information request regarding our driving position? Uh, no. I see. Before I do all of that, I that's why I call and I do my research and I do my homework because yeah. you know I don't want you guys to like start calling my company and all like that because I don't want to give them no in inclination that I may or may not want to be leaving anytime soon. Oh, yeah. We normally don't do that until after you filled out an application with us. But right. on our website, you have an option to fill out an information request that just puts your name and an email and a phone number in there. And the reason why I asked if you did that is because I would look you up to see to find your record and then I can update your record as I'm as I'm talking with you. Oh, so, oh. if you didn't if you didn't do it, it's no big deal. So what state are you in? I'm from Ohio. Okay. Okay. Well, let me tell you what we have to offer, okay? Go ahead. So Hendegard mm -hmm. Transport is located in St. Paul, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So all of our runs are going to dispatch from the St. Paul hub, and they are terminal to terminal in the lower 48. Mm. Okay. 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 Currently, we have a permanent position and a temporary position. The, 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 the position that you're questioning with the 75 cents is a temporary position, but now that price has increased to 80 cents a mile. Oh, okay. Now, let me ask you this. Is that, okay. is, now you said being that it's temporary, so that's like, what, temporary for a couple of months, uh, a couple of weeks, uh, temporary. Yep, it can that be I three would get... months to permanent. Oh, okay. Okay. But once it goes to permanent, it's going to drop down to our permanent position price, which is $0.65 cents a mile, okay. or it can be stretched out to a year. 
Oh, okay. But that does not come with benefits. Okay. Where the permanent position does come with benefits. So which one do you think you're more interested in? Hmm. I think uh I think I probably might be more interest interested in the the uh permanent position. Uh if if any okay. if if anything, because you know, now let me ask you this. That seventy five cent or now the eighty five uh eighty five cent. Eighty. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. 80, 80, I'm sorry. So now the 80 cent, is that is that 80 cent in, in the gate or is that 80 cent with incentives? That's 80 cent a mile. Okay, so that's 80 cent a mile in the gate. And if I, let's say if I choose to take that position after after it's all, selling, uh, all said and done, would I still be on with the company or... Would I or would I get pushed out or? Would it's I, a temporary position. Right. Okay. So. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Yes. That's so, why they call it a temporary position. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. All okay. right. Okay. Well, all right. So let me uh, let me find out a little bit more about the company. So if I can get a couple of minutes of your time, that'll be awesome. Uh. Well, now, do you want to hear about the permanent position? Yeah, I do want to hear about the permanent position. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was going to ask you if you could give me uh, because I haven't heard of Hinden, of Hindengard. You know, I have. You know, there's a. You know what? By the end of our phone call, you're going to get that name down right. You know, right? Okay. Hindengard. <laughs> Hindengard. Hindengard. <laughs> um, Hindengard. Can you can you give me a brief background of the company? Like how long y'all been in existence and all that good stuff? Yeah. Well let me yes. Let me tell you that um uh da 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 I'm gonna uh, find that real quick. But anyway, um tongue twisting. let me tell you about this this permanent position first, okay? Okay. So these this price increase just happened last week. So the permanent position used to pay 62 cents a mile, and we upped that to 65 cents a mile now. So you would be averaging around 2,900 miles a week. So typically between 1,800 and 1,900 a week before taxes. Okay? Okay. Okay. It comes with benefits. Our health insurance, 80% is paid for a single plan, and that is through Blue Cross Blue Shield. We have dental, life, short-term disability, Supplemental and a 401k after a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There would be no loading or unloading. It is all drop and hook. So for out of state, you would be four weeks on and one week off. And Hendegard pays for your airfare to and from home. We have a couple of bonuses. We have a safety bonus that pays $250 biannually or $500 a year, plus a driver referral bonus. And this is per referral with no limit at $5,000. Our trucks, of course, are automatics, but we do require that you know how to drive a manual. Okay, okay. So how does that sound? It sounds uh, sounds pretty good so far. So far, uh, yeah. I, I do know how to drive. Yeah. I do know how to drive a manual, but I do prefer uh, an automatic. Will we get? Uh, since you mentioned that, will we get? Will, will we get test out in a a a, a, a manual, or do y'all? Uh, do a road test or anything. No, nope, like you, you, we require that you know how to drive a manual and you have to know that before you're hired. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's, that, that sounds, like I said, it sounds good. Pretty, uh, pretty, uh, so far. Uh, but again, right. how, so, you, oh, go ahead. So, How long have you been driving tractor trailer? I've been driving for five years. Okay. And do you have your doubles endorsement? Uh, no, I, I don't. I have, uh, I have my tankers, but do I need my doubles and triples? You would just your doubles as you would be pulling doubles. Okay. 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 So I will have to of course I will probably have to get that before I come on, right? If Yes, you would. Oh, okay. And you don't need it at the time of, of, of the application process, but you will need it by hiring time. I got and you. I'm sure you're aware you can take that twenty question test at any local D M V examine station. Mm-hmm. And I can yeah. and they can put it right on my license. Boom. 
Uh, yes. So again, correct. So I don't know what what uh, in um what did you say Ohio? I'm not sure how the DMV is operating in your state. I yeah. know every state is different. No, it's it's, um, it's they're operate. taking appointment only. No, nah, no, nah, they 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 open. They 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 uh they fully. Oh, they are. Okay. Now. Yep. Um, okay. So again, so yeah, hendegard has been in business for about 15 years. Okay. 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 All and right. our main office is in. in You go ahead. But we we also have this office here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay, okay. So okay. so 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 far yeah. so so far this is uh this is primarily dropping hook uh from from place to place. Are are we are we going, you know, on the lower forty eight? Um will we be able to take the truck home on our home time? Nope. Nope. Ooh. No, the trucks stay here. So you don't take the trucks home. Okay. So yep. how, okay. Well, first thing, but let me back up a little bit. Uh, how would you guys get me up to orientation and what would I might need to bring with me? Oh, okay. So when I said for out of state, you're four weeks on and one week off and Hendegard pays for your airfare to and from home. That's how you get up here for orientation. Okay. 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 Cool. Yeah. Uh, so what would I? Yeah. So, so would all? So when I come up there for orientation, would would like my pre-employment screening and all that other good stuff? Would that be taken care of before I get to orientation or during orientation? Well, the steps in getting started is you would have to complete an application and take a drug test. We pay for the drug test. Once the application is completed, we submit it for background screening. That usually takes five to seven days. And then after that, we schedule you for your orientation. There's one day of orientation and one day for training. Okay. okay. And that's according to your schedule. And then you get behind the driver's seat. There we go. Uh, now, as yeah. far as as far as drug test goes, uh, urine or hair follicles? I believe it's urine. Okay. All right. Um, you got now, you told me that it's, uh, I've written it down. So it's sixty five cent, uh, sixty five cent per mile for you know me coming in, and the experience that I got. But are you guys, uh, are you guys, W two or ten ninety nine? We're W two. Okay, okay. What all? What else? That's all paid to me. Like breakdown, holiday, detention. Do I get all of that too? Did you say vacation? Yeah, vacation, breaks down, uh, holidays, um, detention. Pay vacation, after one year, you get five days, and then each year you gain a day. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, breakdown is $10 per hour. Okay. Yeah. Now, but let me ask you this: Did you have someone in mind for teaming with? Uh, I'm more of a solo driver than anything. Okay, this is team driving. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah. if if and I, it's not that it's not that you need to know someone. I mean, we would put you with another driver as well. Oh, uh, okay. Now the other driver that you put me with, we we definitely got to be compatible with each other. So how how would you go by how would you go by? Uh, well, the good thing about Hendegard is that with us being a smaller company, we do know our drivers personally. So if that first driver didn't work out for you, we would find a better fit for you. Or like I said, if you knew someone that you wanted to team with, as long as they have the experience, we do welcome that as well. I'm not the one that puts you with the driver. That's something in, in Gina's department as you get closer to being hired. Okay. So, okay. but uh, like I said, we do know our drivers personally, and we got some good good drivers with us right now. So. Awesome. What's, so since this yeah. is uh, since this is teaming, uh, of course the money is going to be yeah. the money is going to be kind of right. What's the miles? What's what's the miles that that we can average there? You know, while teaming. Well, so that's 65 cents a mile. There's no split pay with that, okay? 
You would be averaging around 2,900 miles a week, and that's each driver. Okay, okay. So typically between 1,800 and 1,900 a week before taxes. Ooh. All right, so 1,800 mm-hmm. and 1,900 before taxes, and we can average before about. Before taxes. Mm-hmm. And how many, I, I didn't catch the, I'm trying to write everything down. Uh, you said yeah, how I can many, send you this in uh, an email as well oh, no, if no, you'd like. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. Uh, you said we can average how many miles again? 2,900 miles a week. And that's between the both of us. That's each driver. Okay, awesome. All right, so yep. what about mm-hmm. so what the equipment what, what what's the equipment that we'll be driving? Was and what and what Our truck? Yes. They're freight liners. They're 2019s and 2020s. And most of them come with the Elite Lounge package which which would consist of bunk beds, a dinette table, two cool heated seats, a flat screen TV mount, a 1500 watt inverter or inverter pre-wire a microwave, and a refrigerator. Okay. Now, you say TV mount, so we, mm-hmm. we got to bring our own TV then, huh? Damn it, man. <laughs> uh, what uh, what about a driver cam? Do you guys have a driver cam in your trucks? We do have cameras. They do face in and out, and they only record They only record if there's a critical event, such as hard braking or going over a lane. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, now let me ask you this: uh, Being that this is team driving, uh, a team driving position. Now I don't have a felony, all right. And so let me clarify that. But what do you do? What do you do for drivers that does have felonies? Do you guys give them a chance with your company as well? We, they can There's no felonies. Ten years from the date that probation has been done. So. Okay. Okay. So my last question, yeah. my last question, and and thank you, I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to uh, go yeah. over go over some of the uh, some of the things. What? Yeah, well, I'm just doing my job. See, Hindegard. <laughs> Hindegard, look at you got it got right. It. There See? we go. And we're not even done with the phone call yet. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my I last know. my last question deals with driver safety, and you know a lot of the a lot of the crazy uh, crazy stuff that's going on, and you know we're in a pandemic right now, and you know with all these cities. Mm-hmm. Uh, having issues and all like that how do you guys yeah will, how do you guys will protect us uh from i mean protect us with loads going to high-risk cities and i got one question after you that. know what nobody's ever asked me that question um and so um we've never really had any issues with any of our drivers you know what i mean mm-hmm I mean, yeah. I mean now. I mean, we've never, we've never. I mean now, with you know, like I said, I you know, I I watch all these uh, all these cities that got riots and some cities, you bet. some you cities. Bet. As a matter of fact, Minnesota is one of the cities or one of the states that's considering defunding the police, and. That's, yeah, that's Minneapolis. Yeah, Minneapolis. Thank you, and that's a con- yeah. and that's a concern for some of for some of us truck drivers out here. So, yeah, you know, we just yeah. Kinda, kinda, I know it's it's a scary time right now for the world that this crazy world that we're living in. But um, seriously, I I we've never had any issues with any of our drivers. So, um, if I can reassure you, I could probably have Gina give you a call back. Uh, with your question about protecting you, if mm-hmm. if there is anything that you know she has to to say, oh, no, I, I really don't know how to answer that yeah, question. That's, that's cool. I mean, yeah. that's um, that's honest yeah. enough. Uh, but let me ask you this: Do you what, yeah. do you guys have a policy? Yeah. Do you guys have a policy on firearms? You know, that's another good question because nobody's ever asked me that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you know what? Let me find out. Let me find. Let me find out, and I'm going to give you a call back. How does that sound? Uh, okay. Okay. That's, that's cool. Uh, so what, what t- is your first name? My name is Shine. S-H-A-U-N-E. S-H-A-U-N-E. Sean, are you pronouncing it Sean? Yes, Sean. Yeah. Say okay. how it sounds. Sean. 
S H A U N E. It's just like Hendegard, right? You know, right? Sean. All right, man. But it, well, right. thank you for the thank you for the uh, thank you for the time. Why 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 would Hendegard yeah. why would Hendegard Transport would be a company that I might that that I might consider? You know why? Because there's all those other companies out there that promise the world to you, and once you get hired, they don't follow through. We're not that company. You can get on our website. You can read. Uh, you can see how nice our website is. You can see our nice trucks. You can see the reviews that people have posted, and there's a lot of positive reviews. It's a good company. So, okay, you you uh, we wouldn't do you wrong. I know that much. Well, I appreciate so, it. Well, I'll Sean, I'll take this information. Can I get your? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I'm going to call you back in a little bit here because I'm going to find out about that. But can you give me your number real quick, just in case I don't have it on caller ID? Uh, two one six six zero zero two zero nine zero. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, I'm going to um run those couple of questions by my boss, and I'm going to call you back if she doesn't call you back. Okay. And uh, we'll answer those 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 last questions for you okay all right well i'll take this information and i i would uh i would also share this with my uh trucking buddies in my uh in my trucking group and all like that where i network yeah i mean and truckers. if you'd like i'd like to set you up in our system and then i can email you the job position and then you'll have it on hand can we I, go ahead and do that as well? Uh, no, no. What I'll do, like I said, I I've been writing down a lot of the a lot of the key points that you know that you was okay. that you was uh, that we was talking, and plus right. I you know and plus I got okay. your website, so I could just I could just tag that in in my Facebook group when I when I go back and tell them that I you know okay. talk to you guys. Yeah, but so. I will tell you this: if you decide that you want to move forward with us, that application that's on our website, we don't use it anymore. We actually email applications out, so so e you would have to get that application through me. Not a problem. Not a problem. I'll sit. I'll make yeah. sure. Uh, I'll make sure that uh, I had the guys to say, "Hey, I want to talk to." What's your name? I didn't even catch your name. MJ. MJ. <laughs> That's what's my up. first. Actually, my first name is Mary Jean, but I go by MJ. It's easier. There we go. There we go. You sure you know? You know. Yeah. You sure there's not a Spider Man in the in the in the? Oh, in the I wind? know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Right. All right. Well, you take it easy. It. Thank you very everybody much. Knows, everybody knows an MJ or two. Well, you're very welcome. I'm going to call you right back, okay? Not a problem. All right. Thank you, Sean. You're pleasure welcome. talking to you. Thank you. And this is a real Alrighty. pleasure talking to you. Yeah, thanks. Indigard Transportation. <laughs> Man. Yo, what you guys think about that call right there, man? I don't care what y'all guys say. That was an awesome call right there. Uh, she pretty much was honest to the point and got uh and got some information out there that 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 was kind of mind blowing at first. And it, to be honest with you, it's still mind blowing at first. All right, Hindegard Transportation. They're located in Roseville, Minnesota. Everything comes out of their terminal up in Minnesota. So for your home time, you get flown home and you get flown back. You get to stay home. For, they want you to stay out for a couple of weeks. Then you 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 leave the truck. You can't you can't take the trucks home. Sorry, guys, but you you just can't take the trucks home. I guess what I should have asked her is the trucks. Uh, is assigned to us or do we slip seed the trucks? I'm not sure. But um, but yeah, you can't take the trucks home, but you will get flown home and then you'll get flown back. Easy, right? I mean, that's that sounds cool. Now they got a temporary position and and they got the um they got a permanent position. All right. Permanent position is something that you might want to be, you know, that you might want because a temporary position is only like three, three months to a year, something like that. Uh, team, yeah, you it's a team base, and you have to have your doubles and triples uh, 
or you have to have your doubles and triples endorsement. Um, you don't have to have them now, but you have to have them when you get in the door. So, so Hindigard, Hindigard Transportation, man, great company. If you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to know more about Hindigard Transportation, you can call them at 651-433-7222. And uh, see what Hindigard has to offer for you. Well, that's it, everybody, for this episode of uh, Lockout Men Podcast, uh, the MTC edition. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for listening. If you guys are interested in content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button and let me know who you want me to call next. It might be the company that you are interested in. I don't know. Let me know. If you like the support because, yo, I'm not getting, I'm not getting sponsored for doing none of this. But I would like to say this. Hold up. I would like to say what you guys need to get is Trucker's Path. Now, if you don't have this app on your phone, you should get it. Trucker's Path. It's the trucker's tool that you guys need right here. Trucker's path. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Mr. Sean. Yes. Yes, it's me. Hey, it's Mary Jean. It's yes. MJ calling you back from Hendegard. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so. The answers to your two questions, uh, number one, uh, regarding the safety of our drivers with the riding and stuff, um, we don't go into the direct cities. Okay. Okay. And oh. then number two, no firearms are allowed in the truck. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, now I'm assume you just asked that particular question about the firearms because I was about to turn around and probably hit you with another one. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so say like personal but like personal protection is is okay right like we we can't have firearms but personal protection like you know like a pocket knife or something like that or a taser or something like that hmm personal you're you're asking is personal that... protection like a knife or a taser yeah yeah Hmm. So I was just told mm -hmm. that the the knife has to be less than three inches, three and a half inches. Okay. Yeah. And a taser. Okay, that is considered a weapon. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, MJ. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, but how about pepper spray? You didn't mention that. Yeah, pepper spray. Or mace. Yeah. That's or that's mace. that's okay. Pepper spray or mace is okay. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very okay. much, MJ. I appreciate the call yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> You're very welcome. You have a great day. You too, ma'am. All right. Take care. All right now. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Y'all see that? She called back and answered the questions i like that y'all got yo y'all y'all gotta give i i listen man i i gotta give it up for uh mj hindi guard transport man like i said before this this company right here if now you you gotta be interested in driving teams and you have to have your endorsements as well so again you know, Hindigard Transportation, if you guys are interested in them, give them a call at 651-422-7222. So let me go ahead and finish my outro, man, so we can get on up out of here. All right. So if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. So when po I mean, when videos come out, you will get them. Yes, sir. You will get them. Okay. If you like to support the channel and support your boy, you can do that by hooking me up with some coffee. 
The coffee app is in the description below, as well as the cash app, dollar sign lockout man. And if you guys want to know about the companies that, that if you have any questions about the companies I called or have any questions for the recruiters I talked to, leave it in the leave it in the comments below. All right. Let me know who you want to get in next. Hit that suggestion. You know who you want to call next. All right. Yo, until then, until the next MTC, this, this is Lockout Men. And this is the Lockout Men Podcast. I appreciate you guys. Y'all stay chill. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.